Hi, I'm Vicky and welcome to my YouTube channel. I still haven't come up with a name for it, so for now it's just going to be Vicky's Ramblings because I haven't got anything better. But I thought that as a starting point we could do something a bit like 50 things about me. Except mine's going to be 35 things about me because I ran out of things to think about. So number one, my name is Victoria. I go by any other name, many other names. But my zodiac sign is Virgo and my nicknames are Turnip and Vicky. My friend Sophie calls me Turnip because I am quite forgetful and daft at times. And Vicky, well, it's just shortened from Victoria. So three things I love. My boyfriend. Uh, my family and friends are very close and important to me and I'm quite close to my family, even though they live quite far away. Um, and I love my laptop it just gives me access to life really and three things I fear arterial blood gases which I will explain in a bit losing my independence which I'll also explain in a bit because I've had previous of like experiences of both and heights I really don't like heights I was seeing the script in Manchester Arena a few months ago before lockdown and we were quite high up and to get out we had to cross this bridge and I could see underneath it and I panicked and sort of had to half crawl across the bridge because I just felt really unbalanced. Uh, last song I listened to, Give Me Everything by Neo and Pitbull because Spotify is on shuffle. Uh, what I've eaten today, I had Cocoa Pops for breakfast at about half eight which, so I should probably go and make some lunch after this. Uh, number of siblings. I've got one half brother and one step brother. My half brother's called TJ and he lives in Ireland with my mum. And my step brother is called Sean and he lives in Edinburgh with my stepmom and my dad. Why did I start making YouTube videos? Um, because I live quite an complex life and I have quite a few health problems. I'm at uni and I sort of just wanted partly for my own sake to sort of document my uni experience um, and also to give other people um, a sort of insight to how I cope with living with all my health conditions and things which I'll explain in a bit and going to uni as a full-time student. What my other significant other likes most about me? Well he's not here at the minute so I'll ask him that one later and come back to that. Meaning behind my channel name, like I said, I haven't really got a new, a decent channel name at the minute. So coming up with channel names is not really my forte. So I'll probably end up brainstorming with some friends or something. Um, so my dream vacation would be back to an island called Koh Phangan in Thailand. It's near Koh Samui and is home to the full moon party. I went there in 2007 with my dad and on scuba diving and it was just absolutely amazing. It's sort of like I have never forgotten that experience. Um, something I really want to be well enough to finish my degree. This is my second degree that I'm trying to do. My first I was doing biomedical science but my chest and my health was just too unstable and I had to drop out halfway through my second year. So my dream vacation as back to Co favorite vacation was Koh Phangan 2007 as I said my favorite place to be probably anywhere where my friends and my family are I'm very sort of family and friends orientated I like having people around me I like being able to talk to people I don't do very well on my own so Favourite movie? I haven't got a clue. I like all sorts. I watched Little Miss Sunshine last night. I love that film. Um, it just makes me laugh in so many ways that I can't explain. Favourite song? Same. I have an incredibly eclectic music taste. My Spotify is anything from Bach to Linkin Park, basically. <clears throat> Favourite band, exactly the same as above. I have <clears throat> a very eclectic music taste. <laughs> and I can't really think of anything that I would call my favourites. So three things that upset me. People who abuse the NHS stuff. It makes me so angry when people abuse NHS stuff. Um, not being listened to. 
I have this thing where I always try and take into the in the opinion everybody's opinions whenever I'm making a decision on something I always try and give people the time of day if they need to talk to me and I would appreciate I always appreciate it when people take the time to listen to me and I don't like friends being unwell I can hold it together very well when my friends are being on when my friends are unwell and then about two weeks later I'll probably just have a big meltdown about it all um, so things that make me happy like I said having friends around I love chilling at home with my little brother TJ and my mum if I'm in Ireland probably lying in bed listening to music and watching my TV just just chilling really so medical problems I have what's known as brittle asthma which is sort of severe asthma basically I'm in hospital sort of once a month with it and it's very annoying how much it affects my life. I've got adrenal insufficiency which means that my body doesn't produce enough steroids on its own anymore because I was on them for so long for my asthma that my adrenal glands just went and don't exist or don't want to work anymore so I take steroids three times a day for that and I probably should go and find my steroids in a bit. I've got depression which will probably feature quite a lot in this blog because well vlog because I feel like I should be as open as I can on it. And I've got a problem called idiopathic intracranial hypertension, which is a big lot of words to say, probably as well when you're drunk, it's quite funny. It basically means that I've got this too much pressure in my brain with the amount of fluid that surrounds your brain. And it gives me really, really nasty headaches. And I have to have spinal fluid drained Luckily, touch wood, it's not happened for quite a long, for about two or three years now. But it was really bad when it happened. Um, someone I love, my boyfriend Chris. Kids, not yet. Give me time. Um, how many hours of sleep did I get last night? According to my watch, this watch, I got nine hours and 43 minutes. Excuse me. A book I could read repeatedly, the Harry Potter books, any of Probably mostly either The Order of the Phoenix or Deathly Hallows. Um, things that annoy me really easily. When people are smoking at the hospital entrance. All that really riles me. Um, doctors who don't listen to me. And then I have to turn around and go, told you so. And laziness. I, I'm, a, I'm not the laziest of people, but I'm not the most motivated. But... When people are just plain lazy and it's very obvious I don't handle it very well. Uh, my favourite animal, I love dogs and my pets. I've got, I share a dog with my old flatmate Lizzie. No, sorry. The dog's called Lizzie. My old flatmate's called Vicky. She gets called Cookie. It's complicated. Our dog was called Lizzie. It's called Lizzie. My flatmate moved out uh, last year and Lizzie went with her so I don't have a dog anymore unfortunately an embarrassing moment so I had my hips replaced um, in 2013-2014 because the steroids knackered my joints and after the surgery I had to use a bedpan and, and I was not happy about it but trying to use a bedpan when you've just had your hips replaced does not go well and I ended up with pee everywhere and I know nurses are used to dealing with that sort of thing I'm not and I hated it so three bad habits I've got I bite around the corners of my nails my nails I don't bite so much unless they break but I do bite around the edges when I get stressed um, I let dishes pile up far too easily luckily my boyfriend does the dishes most nights because I'm just hopeless at them and I have a very bad habit of not thinking before I speak and it's got me into trouble quite a few times. So what am I doing at uni? I'm doing psychology and counselling. Um, I'm really enjoying it. We're about four weeks in now and I'm sort of just about getting on top of things. Favourite shop? So I like Hobbycraft because I'm a big sort of arty, creative-y person. I like WH Smiths because I like stationery and WH Smith just sells everything 
and I like HMV because I like music, I sell games, I sell films. I just like sitting in there for a bit. Um, favourite food, I like Italian food. I like bolognese, I like meatballs, I like pasta. My idea of a perfect date would probably be, I don't know, just probably just going out for food with my boyfriend um, and then doing something like the cinema. Something, and last but not least, something I'd like to learn. I'd love to learn to play the guitar. I've tried a few times and I'm hopeless at it. Maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't, who knows. So yeah, that's sort of my intro vlog, I think, if you want to call it that. Um, I hope you enjoy and I will try and do another one again soon. So, awesome. Thank you people who watch.